What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today we are playing some GTA roleplay again on the Grant RP server and today I'm going to show you guys four different methods to make money as a beginner on this server because I know it can be very difficult especially if you don't know what to do. Last week I also made a beginner's guide by the way for Grant RP on how to get started. If you haven't checked it out yet click top right right now. And if you aren't playing on Grant RP yet, use my referral link in the description. It's the first link, register, and then all you have to do is download the launcher and you're set to go. The first method to make money as a beginner in Grant RP is with the investments. So for this, just open up your phone, press K, and then at the bottom right, you can see the investment logo. Two types of investments. The first one is the daytime investments. With this, you're simply just going to say how many hours you're going to play each day on the server. So when you start playing, select how many hours you think you're going to play that day. And depending on how much you select, you will get more money. So for example, if you think you're going to play one hour, select this one. And then at the end of your one hour that you played, you will get 10K for two hours, 25 for three, 40. And then it stacks up like this completely free you just have to mention when you start how many hours that you think you're gonna play on the server and then also actually play this amount the second type of investment is the long-term investment now for this you will have to actually put in some money into the investment and then after a certain amount of time that you have played you will get the investment back but then with a interest so for example, if you do a investment of 100 hours, you will get a return of 15%. And then you can always select how much money that you want to put in in the beginning, but it's always 15%, I think. With 200 hour investments, it will be 33. And then the longer the investment becomes, the more money that you will get back. So the higher the percentage will be. So it's very safe, it's guaranteed, but you just have to make sure that you play the hours that you say you're gonna play. I think there's also no time limit for this. So you just have to play it at the end. The second way to make money is going to the stock exchange. So that's this blue A on the map in the middle of the city and then doing some assignments for a office. So this is something that a lot of people still do in Grant RP, not only beginners, but it's a very easy and fast way to make money. When you're inside, talk to this guy, say that you want to know more about the offices, click on state offices at the top right. This will give you a list of all the offices and then just choose one, click on contract. And this will give you six tasks or assignments that you have to complete. And for each one of them, you will get 10 K if you complete it. Now, some of these assignments are very simple. Some may take longer, but definitely all of them are worth the 10 K that you will get. You can do this once every day in real life. So once a day, you can get 60K for just doing six simple things. And it's a lot actually, if you compare it to the payment that you get for the regular jobs. So one of the tasks was dig out 50 ores while doing the mining job. This will take you 10 minutes max and it will give you 10K. Plus also you can still sell the ores afterwards as well. So while doing these tasks, most of the time you will also get some extra stuff which you can sell for money. The third method that I want to show you guys is the treasure hunts. You don't need anything for this. Simply go on your phone again, click on treasure top left and then under personal, you will see that it shows you a location where you can go. When you go there, there will be a case that you can pick up. In this case, you can open it or you can sell it. Doesn't really matter, but it's also a very easy method to make some money. Now, if you are kind of struggling to find the location, there is a website from the mage family. I will leave the link in the description. It will be the second link. And over here, you can find a long list of all the locations that people have added. So if you look over here, 90% of the time, you will find the location that you are looking for. Each hour that you play, you will get a new location for a new treasure. And after five hours in one day, you will also get a special price. So you can do this once every hour that you are playing. And there is a maximum of five treasures that you can find a day. The good thing about the personal treasures is that they're only for you. So no one else will be at this location. It's very easy. You just have to go there and pick it up. If you use the website, it's actually something that will just take you five minutes, depending on the location. It could also be longer, of course, but you just have to drive there and pick it up. The common uh, treasure hunts, these are a bit more difficult. I don't really recommend them for beginners, but after a while, you can also do these. The case that you get, you can either get the desert scarf or you can get up to 20k the minimum that you will get from a case is 5k you can choose if you want to open it or not but the alternative is just selling it on the trader market and this is actually the next topic that we're going to look at 
The last and fourth method that I wanted to share with you guys is more of a tip actually on how to make more money than you are right now. And this is very simple. It's just to not sell your products or goods to a buyer. So you guys know that when you have the uh, minor job, you will get copper or emeralds or maybe even diamonds. When you have the oil man job, you will get gasoline. When you're fishing, you will get fish. You take it to a buyer, you sell it to them, and this is how you get the money for that job. Now, when you do this, you're getting underpaid a lot. So I really recommend that you sell everything that you have on the trade market because you will get much better prices. For example, if you're on the trade market on the beach, over here, this guy is selling five emeralds for 1K. The buyer that we just went to was offering 84 a piece. So that's 84 instead of 200 that you can get over here. For copper, approximately $30 a piece. The buyer was offering seven. For gasoline, even worse, I think over here in the shop, this guy was asking $40 a piece. Uh, the buyer that we just went to offered two. So that's 20 times more money that you could make if you just sell your products on the trade market. If you want to rent a shop, you have to go talk to this guy over here. He's standing on the same location as the marking on the map. So the three yellow guys, which are the symbol of the trade market, he's standing on that exact location. If your server is really full, it could be that all of the shops are already rented. So then you just have to return on a later moment. If there are any shops available, you will get this screen where you have to scroll through all the shops with your left and right arrow key. The red ones are not available, the yellow ones are. And I really recommend that you guys try to get a shop location as close to the beginning of the market as possible. So the beginning is kind of where there will be a lot of people, where there are a lot of cars. The closer you are to this location, the better. But to be honest, over here, I rented a shop all the way at the end and I almost sold everything. So once you have a shop that you want to rent, you have to press your up arrow and then you have to select how many hours you want to rent it. You can do this up to three hours and each hour will cost you $500. If you forget your shop number, by the way, just ask the guy again that you want to rent a shop and then he will tell you the number. Then if you want to find your shop, you can just run past them and then you will see all the numbers when passing it. And then this way you can also find your shop if you don't know exactly where this number is. When you get there, interact with it by pressing E and then you just have to drag the items from your bag or your inventory to the right. And when you do this, you have to give in a price. Now this price that you give in, it's the total price. So for example, I tried to sell one emerald for 1,750. Then I did the same with 10 emeralds and then I put in 17 and a half thousand. So when you put in the price, you put in the price for the total and not just for the price per piece. So make sure that you do this correctly or you could end up losing a lot of money. The price, by the way, of emeralds is right now more around 200. So this price was just to show you guys. The case that you get from the treasure hunt, you can also sell it over here. I put it up for 13,000. Then later on, I reduced it to 10K and then it sold immediately. If you leave it for 13K, I think after a while it will definitely sell. But because my market, my shop was all the way in the back, I kind of reduced my prices so I could just sell everything faster. So guys, that's basically it. Four methods for you to earn more money in Grand RP as a beginner. I hope it was helpful. If you guys want to see any other video on Grand RP, let me know in the comments or in my Discord server. That was it, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord server in the description. And peace out, you guys.